Step your game up. How are you gonna have a brand new delicious treat that everybody wants to try and be out of it everywhere? Come on. That was terrible. He's the food scientist that loves food and will put you in a good mood. It's Johnny Hardvark. He's the life of the party. What's up my aardvark foodies and today we've got an interesting adventure that we just had. So we tried to stop by Subway to try out their new sidekick menu with the foot long cookie, the pretzel and the churro, but they only had the churro and we went to three separate locations trying to find a pretzel or a cookie? Bruh. What? Come on Subway, step your game up. How are you gonna have a brand new delicious treat that everybody wants to try and be out of it everywhere? Come on. I mean, we went to three different Subway locations and none of them had the pretzel or the cookie. And I was really looking forward to that pretzel because it was Annie Ann's and we all know how good Annie Ann's is. The cookie, I could live or deal without. You know, there's a bunch of those everywhere. You could throw a rock and hit a cookie somewhere in this country, but you know, still couldn't even find one at three different Subways. Come on. How are you going to have a new menu item and not have it in stock? So today, what we decided to audible into, football reference, was a dessert menu face-off from four big chains. We've got Arby's and the Cherry Turnover. We've got a Wendy's Frosty, about dang time, and one of their chocolate chip cookies. We've got the Cinnabon Delights from Tacos and the, and the Cinnamon Twists, also from Taco Bell. And then, of course, we were able to snag one churro from Subway. And of course, because I'm a food scientist, I've got to actually break down the nutrition of each one of these items and figure out which one is technically speaking the healthiest, and then of course, which one's the worst. Now, without further ado, let's get started. And make sure you subscribe for more amazing aardvark and food content. I'm starting with you, Subway, because you had my hopes up for a totally different video idea, but now I've got sweet treats, so I don't think I can complain too bad. Let's see how this churro stacks up. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I have not had many churros in my life. I just don't either seem to stumble across them or try them, for that matter of fact. But we're gonna, of course, give this one a try. See how it stacks up. I saw her sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on it, obviously, right after she took it out of the oven, rolled it around to give it a nice, healthy coating. Let's rip it off first. Oh. See what we've got as far as the cross section. Not too bad. Not too bad. We're gonna go soft and in bite. Mmm. Wow. Okay, that was surprisingly good. I can't say that I was disappointed or had low expectations, but that kind of delivered. It was sweet, the cinnamon added that beautiful, spicy, aromatic, even with the uh, back of the palate taste to it. I actually give that a solid 8.2 for Subway. Good job. Although you did disappoint me by not having the cookie at least. I could have at least added that to the sweet menu. But the Cinnabon, it stacks up. Good job. Guess how many calories in that Johnny Arvark? Kevin, because of the size of this thing, I'm gonna go with the standard 400. <laughs> nope, you dope, it's only 190. Wow, honestly, that is impressive. Usually something this large with this much breading and carbohydrates in it, and plus the sugar, is probably gonna really crank that calorie count up. But surprisingly enough, it comes in at 190. That could arguably be considered a reasonable snack, depending on the sugar content. And we all know what that means. I can have just a little bit more. <laughs> Next up, we've got these scrumptious little appetizing morsels from Taco Bell. They are called Cinnabon Delights, and they look delightful. Just hopefully they're not from down the lane, because we all learned that from the kids next door. You don't want to be that delightful. All right, now we're going to see not only one, how good they are, two, how nutritious they are, but three, how many of them I can just shove in my mouth. 
What is in a bomb? What is a bomb? What is a bomb? What is a bomb? What is a bomb? <laughs> All right, so I was able to fit six whole Cinnabons in my mouth. How much did it just set me back? I don't even want to know. 500 calories. That just set me back approximately 500 calories by shoving six of them in my mouth at one time. Didn't even get to enjoy it. All right, now because I feel like my rating might be a little biased right now due to the fact that I just had to basically swallow six of those things, I'm going to actually just have one little nice half bite so we can give you guys a good cross-section of the gooey center of this Cinnabon Delight. Light. Well, Poe Buddy's nerfed. Having just one nice solid bite of this thing, and I'll try to show you guys the best cross section. I did crunch it up a little bit. That's just such a gooey, ooey center. Honestly, very delicious. I want to go back for another bite. Mm. Man, that Cinnabon cream that they shove in the middle of these things really kicks it up a notch. Very sweet. Still have that cinnamon on the outside that we've already experienced with the churro, but there's just something about it that adds a creamy factor, you know? I mean, who doesn't like, like, a nice sweet vanilla cream or something like that? That's why we got a vanilla frosty coming up, too. Sugar on the outside, cinnamon, gooey center. That's very delicious. Honestly, it's hard to go wrong, too, because it's got the Cinnabon name behind it. We're going to have to give these guys an 8.7. Maybe even a 5. Call it 8.6 and split the diff. All right, Taco Bell. You've raised the bar just a little bit. That churro from Subway was really good. Those Cinnabon Delights, they do top it though. Now, let's see what you've got in your cinnamon twists. Very simple. Fairly plain even. Not as flavorful as the Cinnabon Delights, I think that's just because that's basically like a little bit of fried dough twisted around and then dusted with a little bit of sugar and cinnamon. But it just doesn't taste as potent as not only the churro from Subway, but those Cinnabon Delights. That definitely lowered the bar a little bit, Taco Bell. So thank goodness you've got these things to help elevate you. We're going to go here. It's tough. We're going down into the 6th hole. 6.7. Very unimpressive. Although they are kind of crunchy, which is a nice little bit of a bite. For the mouthfeel effect the flavor just doesn't just doesn't impress me can't say anything too crazy about it honestly cinnabon delights over the cinnamon twists even the churro above the cinnamon twists no question now let's talk about the nutrition a little bit now here's where things start to get interesting the pack of cinnamon twists that we got only has 170 calories that's actually 20 less than was in the churro from subway so if we're talking about flavor and value Let's start to consider the other variables. That pack was only a dollar. Meanwhile, it's $2.29 for two of these Cinnabon Delights, and it was only $2 for the churro from Subway. So when we start to consider the value that we get for what we're spending our money on, the nutrition of what we're getting, and then the flavor, this equation starts to become a multivariable equation. So being that the churro was $2, the Cinnamon Twists were a dollar, and these Cinnabon Delights were $2.29, the most reasonable valuable and honestly in my opinion flavorful decision to go with would be the churro out of the three of these because not only is it still reasonably priced at two dollars for a decently sized churro it's only 190 calories which is 20 more than what we got out of the cinnamon twists but it is a heck of a lot more flavorful now granted maybe not as flavorful as these delicious guys over here but the calorie content of them alone kind of helps to reduce the value of that in the equation. So we're gonna go ahead and personally say that that churro, number one so far in terms of value and flavor and you know, nutrition. And here's the crazy thing about this. This thing was a foot long for $2. You can't even get a $5 foot long anymore, let alone a $2 churro. 
You know, back in my day, we had 24 hour Walmarts, an American flag in every classroom, and five, five dollar, five dollar foot longs. Man, this thing's so valuable, economic, and nutritionally responsible. I'm gonna go have another bite. Yeah. All right, next up, we are at Arby's with the cherry turnover. First off, let's start it off by just turning it over. I think that that's appropriate. We should probably just start there. And luckily, the turnover on Arby's turnovers is just where you want it to be. Because when I pulled up to that drive through I about dropped my heart when he said, we're out of turnovers for the night. And I was like, oh, no. oh my goodness, what's going to What am I going to do now? Am I going to get a cookie from Arby's and a cookie from Wendy's? That would have been a good video idea. But luckily enough, the guy got back to me quickly enough and said, hey, we've got the cherry turnovers. I think they might've been out of the apple ones, but who knows? I will never find out. All right, first off, visual inspection of this cherry turnover. It looks pretty appealing. Very nice icing drizzle over the top of it. Bottom looks pretty solid. Very nice, short, flaky. It's what you'd expect in a pastry of this type. Now, let's go ahead and cut it in half. Oh, so you can get a nice cross section. Very flaky. So flaky, even the icing is falling off. Even flakier than me when I tell my friends I'm gonna hang out with them. Looks like we have a good healthy amount of cherry flavoring on the inside. Now let's go for our bite. <laughs> That was good, actually. That cherry flavoring really kicked me in the mouth, if I'm being honest with you. The icing was pretty good. Luckily, I found one small piece that I can try just by itself. Mm. Now, there's something about me. We all know I love a good s'mora, but I also love a really tasty icing. There's something about it, just the sweetness, the pureness of the sugar, honestly, whipped up in a delicious fondant, foam, a cream, anything like that. If it's icing based or even closely related in the family tree, I'm about it. You know, I love icing so much, I've been known to be called the ice queen. I mean, king, ice king, ice-ing, you get it? <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, I guess I better put my goggles on for my next joke. Where's my hat? My hard hat. You know, that turnover was so good, despite my joke being so bad, I've got to try it at least one more time. One more little, you know, actually I can finish this last little piece I've got here. Hmm. Yeah, that's solid. Beautifully crusty and flaky. The icing drizzle obviously, of course, adds an extra, just sweet, sweet spice. The cherry filling? Yeah, it's, uh, it's cherry filling. I don't know what else to say about it. Probably the same cherry filling that half a dozen other fast food chains get theirs from. Who am I to know? Just a humble food scientist. This apple strudel was surprisingly pretty good. It's a cherry turnover, you nincompoop! Oh, jeez, here we go again. Okay, this cherry turnover was actually pretty impressive. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. That puts this cherry turnover just very slightly behind these Cinnabon delights. Very tightly, like a very small margin. I don't know because I'm not good with numbers. All I'm good with is food and eating it. All right, cherry turnover, Cinnabon delight. You have each met your matches. I want a good, clean fight. No punching below the belt. No eye gouging. Ah, eh, you know what, forget that. No holds barred. <laughs> Wow, this uh, Cinnabon Delight is taking this turnover to work. Yep, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Call it for the Cinnabon Delight. I don't wanna, I don't wanna hurt this guy's feelings anymore. Good job, you deserve that win. Just go have some water, take a load off. Pretty embarrassingly, I have to admit that my mom, I'm sure like most moms told me, never play with your food, Johnny. I can't help it, I love playing with my food. So kids, be sure to always play with your food. Especially if you're lucky enough to be able to get those little chicken nugget dinosaur things. Oh my gosh, I would have had a blast. But I wouldn't have even needed Legos if I had those things growing up. I wouldn't have even heated them. I would have played with them raw, raw, 
T-Rex, Triceratops, Rhinoceros. Oh, in case anybody cares, there were 390 calories in that cherry turnover, by the way. Not, not very healthy, honestly. Pretty on that high end as far as that as a dessert menu item. That's almost a meal in and of itself. That thing is closing in on calorie content for a number of burgers even. All right, so incorporating this cherry turnover into our value versus flavor versus nutrition equation, it is a little bit still behind the churro, I would say in terms of the calorie content, it's nearly double the calories that was in the churro. That being said, it was pretty much the same exact cost. It was $1.99 for the thing. So value, still about the same. Flavor, that's where it's probably just gonna come into a little bit of personal preference. If you like a little bit of jellies and jams and shoving them in between a delicious flaky pastry with a beautiful icing drizzle, that's your guy. But if you just prefer the simple sugary cinnamon flavor of a churro, go with the churro, it's a much healthier option. All right, next up. Ooh, looky, looky, we have the cookie. Johnny, no eat the cookie. Mm. Not bad. To be fair, I've had crumble. So that's a pretty high standard for a cookie. But for being Wendy's, not terrible. Definitely had worse. It's right about that consistency and texture that I've always felt that I like personally. That mouthfeel sensation where it's a bit of a solid outer bite, but a lot of gooey and chewy and soft on the inside. It's about a middle ground between that. Definitely has more of the crunch, a little bit less of the chew, but still about just enough of that chew to keep me happy and interested. For the cookie, we're gonna go ahead and give it a solid, yeah, 7.2 out of 10. Just because how can you screw up a cookie, right? A chocolate chip cookie is about as American as baseball, apple pie, and well, chocolate chip cookies. I cannot believe what I have just been told. There are 330 calories in this cookie. That is insane. This thing cannot weigh more than 20, 30 grams tops and they've crammed 330 calories into it. That's insane. That's absurd. That's ludicrous. Ludicrous. And for $1.59, that is actually a crazy amount of calories to get for that kind of value. And the flavor, again, not that bad. Not the best cookie, but crumbles a hard standard to live up to. We gave it a 7.2. So in terms of our cost and nutrition and flavor equation we keep working on, this guy doesn't really fit in super well. He kind of sits in over here with the Cinnabon Delights or the Cherry Turnover. It's, except honestly, in my opinion, not as flavorful. If I had to choose between this simple cookie, this cherry turnover, or a Cinnabon Delight, I might honestly go with the Cinnabon Delight. Cherry turnover would be a solid backup, but this cookie would just, for the pure cost and the nutrition alone, I'd still stick with the churro. So I think we're about done. Luckily, we've got one more item to throw on the list. We've got this Vanilla Frosty from Wendy's which by the looks of it doesn't seem like much of a frosty anymore. More of, um, uh, I hate Dane to call it a slushy, but it's definitely much more of a liquid vanilla flavored drink now than it was a frosty a couple of minutes ago. Now, even though it's not quite a frosty anymore, we've still got to give it a try. Our rating might be a bit biased, but I'm going to try and give you all the best unbiased review I can. Okay, still retains a good bit of that frosty flavor, just absolutely none of the mouthfeel or other sensory characteristics. Basically just tastes like a liquid and frosty. Let's give it another sip. Yep, it's gotten very frothy and foamy and bubbly, mainly due to the melting of the little bit of ice cream that was in there. It's kind of dissolved, broken down the structure of the whole matrix here. And essentially what will happen over time is the heavier the solids will sit to the bottom and the rest is, what? Oh, this? Oh, it's okay. We call it a Belgian dip. I'm from Belgium, so it's okay. You know, even though this Frosty has basically now become uh, just a drink at this point, basically, uh, it's still not bad. You know, it still retains all that good flavor. 
Interestingly though, like we were saying, the solids and the liquids have started to separate. So the heavier solid particles are now gonna start to float and sediment down towards the bottom. All the lighter elements are gonna sort of just naturally work their way to the top. And we're gonna end up with what's called a phase separated emulsion. It's basically when two things that don't normally mix together have been able to mix, but then they sort of lose that chemical ability to mix, if you will. So they start to separate again into a heavier layer, a lighter layer, or a hydrophobic or a hydrophilic layer. So even though it's not really a frost anymore, I'm still gonna give it a 7.7 out of 10, simply because it's a frosty baby. Now, surprisingly, this does not really fit into our ideal value nutrition and flavor equation either. And for a mere $2.50, this 450 calorie beverage clocks way higher than I think anything else we've tried, actually. The cookie was 330, the turnover was four, no, the, the turnover was, I believe, 390, and we had about 180, 170 for a two pack of Cinnabon. So realistically, the churro wins. It's easily the most nutritious decision out of all of these items. It is also a very good value choice because it's only two simple dollars for about a foot long of a churro. And it's pretty darn tasty. It's very flavorful. Of course, it doesn't come in nearly as high as maybe the cherry turnover or the Cinnabon delights, but it still packs the flavorful punch without coming in at a whole lot of extra calories. Now, the really cool thing about churros, like most food products, is the process of heat transfer. It's basically the process of more or less cooking the food, right? So they take this raw, unfried, doughy <coughs> churro, they basically drop it in some really hot oil. That heat from the oil transfers quickly to the churro, it evaporates the water inside, quickly creating these beautiful little like airy tunnels or air channels, if you will. And that helps to give the churro its characteristic texture and mouthfeel. And boy, am I glad they do. Slam poetry, Cinnabons. Cinnamon, I am John, the Cinnabon Mon. Come look at me with your sweet and tasty treat. Cinnamon delights, mmm, so sweet. Apple turnover, cherry pie, who am I? Cinnabon guy. All right, it's time for some food science, y'all. We're gonna take a little bit of cinnamon twist and we're gonna just lightly crunch it up. Just sprinkle it over our cherry turnover. That looks great. Now, of course, we're gonna have to have a bite. Mm. Oh, delicious. What a fun science experiment. I can't believe I actually just took cinnamon twists, ground them up, and sprinkled them on a cherry turnover. Mama, I knew there was a reason I went to college. Okay, so we've had a lot of tasty treats today, folks. But the most common thing across a lot of them has just been the cinnamon. And cinnamon is really unique and interesting as far as the spice and the functional food component, if you will. It actually has antimicrobial properties. Basically, things about it that make it so that if there's a bacteria or a pathogen present, it helps to inhibit or prevent that bacteria from doing its bad and damaging effects. Cinnamon is pretty effective even against both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria which is a special term we'll get into a little bit later. And a couple of the cool mechanisms by which cinnamon inhibits bacterial growth is it affects their cell walls, their ability to reproduce, and even their ability to communicate with other bacteria cells. Another really interesting fact about cinnamon is that it has been referenced in folklores and mythologies throughout the world and history. It was once believed and used for spiritual practices, healing benefits, and protective medicine rituals. All right, now let's see how protective this cinnamon really is. That didn't Not work very. really, did it? Not very, it seems. But luckily I have my protective eyewear, and this is why, kids, you always wear your protective personal equipment in and around the lab. Heck, just do it at home for your own safety's sake. You never know what life's gonna throw at you, or when. All right, folks, now we've come to the point of the video that we've all been waiting for, the rankings. So in terms of pure flavor, the number one restaurant is gonna be Arby's. And they take it with this cherry turnover. 
honestly, it was so flavorful. I know it was really not that good nutritionally. Value cost wise, also actually wasn't surprisingly that bad. What, 229 I believe is what we said. And that flavor, man, that thing really just kicked it up a notch. So we're going Arby's number one. And then at number two, we're going Subway in the churro. Ed took the cake as far as the value, the, the flavor, and the nutrition. So we're going Subway number two with the churro. I really would have liked to have tried those other tasty treats like the uh, cookie and the pretzel, but that'll be for another time. So at number three, we've got T-Bell. And why? It's because of these delicious Cinnabon Delights. These things are oh, so good. These Cinnabon Delights are delicious. They are absolutely scrumptious. And they're honestly just an amazingly packed, flavorful bite. They're brought down, unfortunately, by the cinnamon twist. If it was just the Cinnabons, they would have been ranked higher. Taco Bell would have probably taken first place. But these cinnamon twists are a big letdown. They don't really pack a whole lot of flavor, although they are pretty value-oriented at a dollar for the pack. And again, not the worst nutritionally, but we already had this discussion. Let's go with the churro over the cinnamon twist. Easy peasy. And then finally, that means number four goes to Wendy. And that's just because, well, there wasn't really a whole lot of great dessert items basically the cookie and a frosty that's about all they've got the cookie again not super overly impressive and the frosty well it unfortunately melted so it does go with a little bit of that historical rating so that's the order we're going arby's number one subway number two t-bell in at three and we've got wendy's rounding out the pack at number four as the worst fast food dessert item we've tried today have you ever wondered about the science of a brain freeze it's actually a very interesting process. It happens when you drink or eat something that is very, very cold way too quickly without allowing your mouth and tongue and taste buds the gradual time it needs to adjust to those cold temperatures. It's basically caused by a rapid dilation of blood vessels, which trigger nerves response, mainly in the trigeminal nerve, responsible for the feelings and sensations that we get in our mouths, tongues, and from taste in general. Now, when these blood vessels dilate, that sends signal responses to nerve cells that basically start to process that signal of pain that we associated with brain freeze. It starts on the upper roof of your mouth and quickly and transfers straight to temples and frontal brain areas. This usually only lasts for a couple seconds to a minute, but it can be painful and intense. And it is all caused by eating and drinking cold things way too quickly. So it's important to make sure you eat those things slowly. Mm. Ooh, brain freeze. All right, thanks for hanging out with us, folks. We appreciate having you on every adventure just like we enjoy making them. We hope you enjoy them. We hope you subscribe and tune in for the next adventure. Who knows what or where we'll try next.